Good morning. Prayer partners, praise partners, and pain partners. So now that you're you've been drawn away, you've been isolated, you found solitude, you found that isolation and solitude really wasn't that lonely. There was a bunch of voices taunting and tempting and accusing you. And so you finally cry out and invite truth in. Isolation then becomes a chamber of change and transformation. An innermost immaculate space. Yet if we only reside there and do not take the time to heal and listen to the counsel given, then what good is it really? You know, we are to help our fellow brethren, our fellow sisters, those who are stuck in trauma, hurt, that uh, don't have privy to the softness of who he is yet, who have hardened themselves or been hardened by this realm and its examples, the people themselves. That's why we found ourselves isolated in solitude to begin with, utterly alone. <coughs> Beautifully broken. We have a mission and the word tells us that where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. Now, the last two messages encouraged you to go out and find some alone time and to be with the Savior. And the example will always be that for Christ himself drew out and found alone space to be with the Father. But remember he did so because he knew he was going to encounter a multitude, people. People that were dealing, that were engaging, that were in an active battle with a real enemy. So, in isolation and solitude, after inviting him in, as he starts to minister to you, as you start to listen, <coughs> as you start to hear, and then comes action. You should be searching and seeking or looking out for the one he sends. What I mean for that is, is see the enemy's tool is to get you away from other people. He don't want you around your brothers and sisters. Listen, I know that Christians can be weird. <laughs> that's pretty funny anyways um we all got our weird quirks people are strange you know but we have to get in there we got to start to feel the abrasiveness of it it's just like that time when we started with christ and we didn't know his voice yet and maybe even the first time you heard it it was very foreign and 
in prayer and you were just like, what the heck, you know? And so we have to be willing to show up and show out to be taught, to learn, to be ministered to, to uh, be transparent, to be humble. But in all of this, I think that throughout the text, there's been many modelings of pairings, you know? A true pair partner. A true praise partner. Even a pain partner. What does this mean? It means that we already have one. You're never alone. You're coupled with the Holy Spirit. It's now living in you. It dwells within you. It's now sitting in the soul seat of this vessel. You've invited it in. You've given it credence over all. And so... During that time, during prayer, during meditation, during your time with the King, I empower, empower and encourage you, implore you to start to ask Him to send your prayer partner, your praise partner, your pain partner, the one that's going to go through and hear and stand in agreement. You don't have to be on the prayer team, in the choir. You don't have to stand at the pulpit. You don't even have to sit in the pew. You can just watch remotely, electronically, like many of us do nowadays. Some of us are so isolated within our life during retirement and other things that we, we have a life that we could easily just be alone. That's not the, what the Word tells us. The Word tells us to get out there, to share, to encourage, to spread hope, to spread the Word, to baptize, to heal, to cast out demons, to feed, to clothe, to visit those that are in hospitals and the prisons, to, to love. To love others, you have to share. You have to share yourself. You have to share your truest self, your Christ-like self, not that chewed up, not on thing that the enemy tried to get you to believe was you. I'm talking about your true nature, your Christ-like nature. You have to go forward and let people see that. How do you do that? In humility, not in pride. You do that by practicing with a partner. That's what this time of isolation and solitude is with the king, is it's practice. Practice for you to be able to get to speak, to get to pray, to get to ask questions, to with the Holy Spirit, with the intimate friend, the king, Jesus. Then, after practiced and modeled, shown to hold weight and merit, proof, then you could go out and start to embark on that mission with another human being. Introducing that friend to Christ and to what you've been privy to during your meetings with him. And so a prayer partner, a praise partner, a pain partner, someone that's in agreement with you through the word, through Christ Jesus, who knows the vision given. Y'all can build. You can build the kingdom. I find it awesome, and it's kind of funny in the way that the Lord works is, this prayer partner, this praise partner, this pain partner may not be your life partner. It may not be your spouse. Your It may not be a relative. It may be a completely opposite of the spectrum type of human than you. And that is the beauty of God. 
<coughs> it is the fact that he takes two unqualified individuals, places them together, and sets them out on a mission together. Partnership. Partnership, partnership, partnership. That's the mantra of the year for Large Heart Ministries. We're looking for partnership. He is looking for partnership. We're looking for people to stand in agreement, to move forward in the vision given, to build, to co-create in the valley that which he gave on the mountaintop. Partners. To stand in agreement with the Holy Word of God and the vision given to move forward, to create a space of hope and encouragement to heal the traumatized souls that have been gnawed on and eaten on by today's falsehood. With that said, on Saturday, the 21st, Large Heart Ministries will be having a community meeting at the community building in Utopia, Texas. If for some reason that building cannot be secured, we'll be at the park, but we will be having a meeting this Saturday. Um, we're looking for people that want to be a part of the ministry to sign on to the uh, board where... Um, we're just in the beginning stages, and so if you want to be on a fresh and new ministry, a new starting ministry, one with a heart for community, for people to be set free for change in the community, for traumatized souls to be set free, if you are willing and um, led if the Holy Spirit is pricking your heart and telling you that this is a space for you, please attend, reach out. Um, you can get a hold of me um, through the website, largeheart.com, L-R-G-H-E-A-R-T.com. Um, we'll be moving forward. We've got to get finances together. We're starting a book project, um, Bittersweet. It's an anthology with 20 authors. So if uh, you feel led to write, um, if you have any way that you can share, we have places to sign up for uh, speaking engagements. If you feel led to share, we're going to be opening up to community revival, hitting parks, um, whatever the Lord sees fit, we're, we will go in Jesus name. Uh, so find you a prayer partner today. If you don't have one, show up Saturday and I'll uh, make sure that uh, you got one. Because the Lord will have one there for you. In Jesus' name, carpe diem. Seize the day. Greatness requires more. I love you, Jesus. Victory. Amen. Get a prayer partner. Amen.